would prefer is if we use technology to build those things into the systems in the beginning. So I agree with you. I mean, there's incompetence and people do stupid things and we shouldn't want to have to rely on goodwill or ombudsman or whatever. Um, but I think it's perfectly reasonable to say, actually, we don't want to be mugged or burgled or whatever, so therefore we want the technology to help us. But as Stuart said, actually, we need a more informed debate about how to use that. So if you say to me, OK, um, you can use your subway card and we'll track it, and, that's, and then after one month that data will be anonymized. And to me, that seems like a reasonable bargain, right? If you, and if what you, you want them. is that kind of bargain, that Forget kind ID of informed decision. Then. This government wants every person in this country to have on them a card. Uh, you, I understand, are in favour of that? Uh, I'm in favour of a much better identity management infrastructure. Um, well. it's, it's absurd to have a kind of modern 21st century society where you go down to open a bank account with your gas bill and ridiculous things like that. I mean, clearly we need some kind of better identity management infrastructure. I'm slightly nervous about um, saying yes or no to any of these things in those simple terms. But, but because it is a yes or no. It, it is ID not. It's a, it's a much more nuanced argument. Because everyone argument. would have to carry it or it would be pointless. Look, them. everyone in this room has already effectively got an ID card. Everyone's already got a phone, I haven't, right? Actually. You've got a phone. So, actually, so if, any, if I'm a bad guy and I want to know, I'm the, I'm the mafia and I want to track you down, I can already find you from your phone. You know, so the idea that this historical interlude of not urban anonymity can be extended. No. Yes, they do, essentially. Um, no. so not, in, not in Glasgow East, actually, I remember. Uh, I was, we, I was we, hearing it was more <laughs> you, lower we, life expectancy. You also in, uh, skipped over Stuart's point about the balance. So in other words, <laughs> if, which is an argument about power within oh. society. So if one group has cameras and the other group does not, then you can see how that can be used to support structures that perhaps are inappropriate in a modern society. Well, who, who else? Who Everyone in this room has got a CCTV camera who in their thinks, pocket. Who thinks we should trust authorities for six weeks to destroy our data? Well, um, I don't think there's a problem with the Oyster card because they don't check your address or something. You can put the name... Oh, you can get an Oyster card and give it to your friend. It's not, they're not really tracking, tracking you as such. So. I don't really have a problem with that. I don't know if anyone else. I, I, I don't. So yeah. And ID cards? ID cards, but like what the guest said, I think there should be certain controls, like not everything, like not if you book a flight to somewhere. Like if I go to Pakistan five times a year, I don't, you know, want that. So you don't life. think that uh, once it was instituted and everyone had to carry one, you wouldn't be asked for it at every stage in your life, which some people against ID cards are saying? Yeah, I think they will be asking for it. But who's for ID cards in this room? Yeah. Put their hands up. Who's, who's in favour of ID cards? I'll be in favour. It's very lukewarm, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, get someone against it. Don't we like, okay, well, but that side's better, isn't it? <laughs> um, what, why, why are you against it? Well, I think just the whole idea of ID cards just scares people off, doesn't it? It sounds kind of like totalitarian. Um, obviously, we do have so much information about us already, so it's not going to make a huge difference. But I just think all the bits of information they're talking about, I think it's just quite, it makes people nervous, doesn't it? And I mean, also the fact we have to pay for it, or we seem to be going to be forced to pay for it, it's going to be. I can't really see yeah, it. The, it, the it payment side is another aspect. Yeah. But Google Maps has been uh, a big uh, cause of controversy around the world. Um, anyone worried about Google Maps? Uh, 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 cameras going up and down all the streets photographing people's houses and being able to search by postcode. A lot of people have been saying that uh, this is an invitation to burglars. None of you are. You all love it. Are you all, who, who likes Google Maps Street View? Why, why do you think Google Maps Street View is good? I mean, I've used it a couple of times, like, to check places I'm going to go, and it's pretty easy because you can put Are in you a, a burglar? Station. No. No. <laughs> no I you can put in a station, and you can follow a 3D map to your destination, so you can literally learn very quickly where you've got to go, and you won't get lost and have all the trouble of reading maps like you used to. I don't honestly sit there looking over my neighbour's fences to see what they've got in their back garden, so I don't understand a lot of the fuss personally. Okay, but I mean, presumably that, allied to other forms of technology, might be able to be used in different ways. What, uh, what, what do you think about what people are saying about trusting the government to use the data well, if properly? It, if, if it's coming into Google Maps as well, G Google Maps in general I think is alright, but it, it's if they get too technical with it, if they start using it to have certain people's privacy, but come back to the CCTV, I don't think we need as many as we have. Having a few for security reasons, you can detect someone's having a fight or committed a crime, but 
again, they, they go in too much into our privacy sometimes. Because Google sometimes. already you know, knows your searches. Google knows your searches. It knows that, uh, if you buy stuff on uh, that, other That's why we have to get to the point of can we trust them to eliminate after six months or not. That's the thing. We, we never actually know if they're going to keep us on record and keep following us up or just delete us. But there's generally they, they a degree of a trust. That's I, the thing. I see a great deal of trust in, uh, in this government. It, it, they, which, um, if... Uh, if there is this trust, uh, of course, um, it is the context of this death uh, at the anti-G20 riots here in London. That was people using the technology, as it were, against the authorities. Do you think uh, that will uh, somehow uh, stem the balance? I mean, Stella Remington, head of MI5, Secret Service Agency, says the balance is all wrong. I think the issue of uh, surveillance, which is the, the technical term for that, actually is much more important than the issue of surveillance. So if I'm in a position of authority and I want to abuse that in some way, um, what I don't want is transparency. I don't want people watching me. Um, I think people who are kind of more technologically, I mean, I don't want to say younger people because of the audience, but, uh, but people who are more comfortable with the technology expect a more transparent society. They expect everyone to have camera phones. If you're well, the British road raging, to bring in a law against this. That, which, uh, many governments, have, uh, there, are, there are several laws about the controlling the use of camera phones but it's an unstoppable technology. Everybody has them. What are you going to do about it? If you want to do something bad, the last thing you want is sunlight. You know what I mean? So the more, tr so personally, I think the more we use those technologies, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, camera phones or anything, in order to open up society, to me, that's a good thing. Now, within that, clearly you want certain controls. No one's arguing that people should have no privacy at all, but you have to have some kind of right balance, and that balance might well be the distribution of the technology to everybody. So in other words, it becomes, you know, someone was saying just now about Google having all of this information. Well, you know, if Google Maps was something that only they had and could, but because Google Maps allows other people to bring in other data and mash it up and bring new information and, and that kind of stuff is, is good. I mean, I don't okay. argue against but that. But I mean, on, on the case of uh, us, the people trying to uh, use technology against this government in Britain wants to ban the use of that, and it wouldn't even be admissible in court. The only reason, of course, we know about the death of 47-year-old Ian Tomlinson is because newspapers <coughs> got that footage you, from camera phones. But, that, but I, you're jumbling up two different issues there. I mean, whether the camera phone footage is admissible in court is a completely different legal argument. The point is, if the camera phone footage exists, in order to highlight that there's been a wrong. That's the step that we need. And whether the camera phone footage is being used by any particular group of society doesn't matter as long as all groups have access to it. So I think by taking that technology and taking it out into people's hands, making it easier to link camera phones to Flickr and YouTube and whatever, that's a good thing and we should be supporting who that doesn't, kind of thing. Who doesn't trust the government with this information? I mean, the government here wants to have uh, information on every website we visit, every piece of email, no one down this end, do we? <laughs> um, the, um, the government here wants to uh, uh, be able to look at all the data on the websites, including social networking sites. Do you, uh, do you worry about that? Um, well, actually, back to CCTV and back to this lady here feeling, needing to feel comfortable and safe in, a, in an environment when you're outside. I can, can I trust that these surveillance operations are on? They're recording. So if I did want to use something in a court of law, I could. Because lots of times we've heard well, uh, of cases happens. when they've been switched off. Exactly. In fact, during the 7-7 uh, terror bombings here in London. Um, well, if I can uh, go to you, uh, Stuart. Um, a, a lot of trust. Are you surprised that your campaign... I have to say, I, I'm not surprised at all that people have more trust in Google than they do in the government, and I think that is the case. <laughs> The, the Google have been asked several times, recently actually by the CIA or the FBI, I'm not sure which, if they would release all of the search records for the last few weeks for everyone in America. Google said no. And when you hear that, you think, well, okay, it's strange that I trust the corporation more than my element, but that is in fact the case. And you can see a situation where if Google were owned by a trust, in the same way as the Guardian newspaper were or any other kind of large and, 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 and very important organization and was uh, constitutionally removed from the American or British or, or, or any government in the world, I can see no reason why we wouldn't trust Google with our own information, knowing that it would be deleted. Now, we are lucky in that we have a kind of benevolent dictator of the internet at present. But if someone steps in and buys Google in 10 years or 50 or 100 years, you might find that they're not so benevolent with the use of that information. So I'm not surprised that people have some trust. I mean, human beings are instinctively trusted. But when it comes to the, 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 de the death of the gentleman Ian Tomlinson on the demonstration, 
it has been the case for years that people die on demonstrations uh, and the police then discredit the witnesses. The only difference today is that the, the police cannot discredit the witnesses because they have got film footage of it. And that, I think, is the, is the difference between now and ten years ago. Or but of course, the people ago. using the camera phones themselves might now be